fuck, look at all these people. Dude, look at half the track. guys this is drift week video number three so as you can see we're back at the shop we just got back from Poconos awesome awesome experience we had so much fun we learned a lot and I'm ready for the next one but today is like a free day so we ended up driving from Pennsylvania back over to Connecticut we're hanging out here we kind of just wanted to bring the Z back go over it a little bit we had a lot of drift crashes as you can see um, we have that drift crash with um, that truck that happened here we had the drift crash with the vet that happened here make it a little fucking you know that happened yeah. there yeah there you go um all you guys shout out to you guys you guys got to sign it at the drift party um sick time by the way Probably my favorite event that I've ever been to. Oh yeah, dude, me too. Yeah, that was, was a fucking blast. The amount of people that we met was just absolutely insane. It was, it was very, what's the word? Overwhelming. It was overzealous. It was definitely, it, no, it was definitely overwhelming, but it was, it was almost inspiring. I think is the word. Just to like go harder. Cause to go harder into just like yeah, because it's crazy. Like, it's like all right, all I gotta say is Chris didn't think he was that guy, but after that day, Chris realized he's, like he's that guy. Yeah, or like, is one of the guys. Yeah, like we're we're moving up in the world, you know. <laughs> and like looking at YouTube views, you're like okay, eighty k. Like we did all right. Like you don't really put that into actual people, if and that you makes sense. Yeah, you Until these motherfuckers are up to you like, yo bro, sign my forehead, like, sign my nipple bro, you know? Like you in the face. going crazy and that was maybe a thousand people. Imagine yeah, another 79,000 people. 78,000 for the whole thing. Yeah, and yeah, but like I probably shook people. about a thousand hands, you yeah. know what I mean? Which I didn't even meet everyone because when we were driving into like to go drifting, there was a long line for a ride along. Dude, I'm just sticking my hand out. They're like, run now, go! Like going crazy. And I'm just like, okay, let's just keep the hand out, you know? But yeah. fucking crazy. No. You guys are fucking awesome. If you didn't go, you definitely missed out, but you can go click up in the corner and watch that video now. Anyways. Long story short, we're back here, just going over, doing a bolt check, we did an oil change, um, checked over the L L LEDs, and made sure everything is good. If you guys didn't know, we're doing a merch drop right now. We got shirts, we got hats, we got sticker packs, we have literally everything that you can actually want, and plus, if you're that lucky guy, we're gonna be flying out one of you to come hang out with the crew, go drifting in Englishtown, New Jersey, and we're gonna end up throwing you in my car, having you drift, and if you crash, shit happens, because this thing is total. It's the ultimate drift experience. It's literally the ultimate drift experience. I'm really excited. Shout out to Tire Streets for sponsoring this as well. They gave us four tires to let you guys absolutely shred. I'm not shredding them, you are. So do fat burnouts, do donuts, drift. We're not tandeming because I don't want to die and be liable for that, but um, we're gonna have fun for sure. So go down in the description below and get your merch. We're here, we got some things to do with this today. We're probably not filming, we're just gonna like clean it, go over it and everything. And um, we got some things to go over with the Colorado as well. So uh, let's get to that.
All right, so the Z is ready to go back. The drift wheat, she's all cleaned. Everything is good. Nut and bolt check, done. Nothing really got loose and she is ready to shred again. But before we go back to drift week, there's a couple things we need to do with the Colorado. So let's talk about it. All right guys, so you know what's going on with the Colorado by now. We are putting an LSA supercharger on my LS3 engine and we can't really do that with having a leaf spring stock rear end. So big, big, big shout out to Fabbot. They ended up sponsoring our channel once again. If you guys don't remember, Fabbot, they hooked me up with the short throw shifter. They, they hooked me up with the engine mounts to actually put the LS into the Colorado. They hooked me up with the AR5 to LS adapter plate, the clutch, all of that stuff. If you guys need anything for your Colorado or all of these cars right here, you can go ahead, you can go down in the description below and check them out because they're really helping out this channel a lot. So if you check this out, we ended up getting some Viking coilovers. We just opened one of them to show you guys. Um, Man, those things look dude, spicy. They look fucking hot, dude. I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew how to do all of this. So actually, right now, before we get back to Drift Week, we're gonna be going dropping off at a fabricator. I've been in contact with him for a few weeks now. Um, we were just waiting for our stuff to come in and we were ready to pull the trigger. So you can see, we have pretty much everything to do. I mean, not pretty much. We have everything to do this. Um, Colorado, she's getting a four link once again. Big shout out to Fabbot. But um, we're kind of on a time crunch because we got to do a bunch of merch today because... Uh, you guys killed it. You guys are killed it. You guys sold out the skateboards in, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes. I'm like, yeah. dang, I should have ordered more. But they're just like... When we, is it the bundle that people were buying? People loved the bundle, dude. dude. The bundle's a the, fire the deal. It is a fire deal. For, it was like $175 value for $120, and it's which at, is yeah, sick. It's actually $175. And you guys love the fucking junk banners, dude. I can't believe how many fucking junk banners we're selling. I had like 250, right? Yeah, like 250 junk banners that you, you guys lot, order. Dude. It's insane! Sorry, I've been streaming a lot. We've been having parties and... I'm all messed up in the head right now, but thank you guys. Go down the links below, get you guys' merch, and I will definitely see one of you guys here. Hopefully, this thing's supercharged by then. We'll definitely have the GC8 by then. There's so much stuff that you guys don't even know about, so if you're um, not a patron, you're fucking sleeping, but let's go drop this thing off. All right, so the Colorado is at her new home for a couple weeks. I told them just like two weeks because we're not in like a serious rush to get this done. Obviously, we have drift week, and then we we have a lot more going on. I'm going back to Florida with the GC8. I think by now Jack probably has that video out. So definitely go check out Jack Cecil's YouTube because he's making a full video about my STI. We have big plans with that thing. So definitely go check it out. And um, I'll be informing Patreon along the way of like what we're buying, all of that stuff. So if you're interested in that, we'll have that too. But we had to flip the tires yesterday. Look at how bald these suckers are. Oh my God, dude. You fucked me daily in this thing for like four months. That's you, man. I mean, it, I wasn't like raging. Like yeah, right. Like, you you were driving the truck. You were raging her. I, in you a, be honest. In a, I, I mean, dude, I gave it like the beans in a straight line, but like <laughs> this thing's scary in the I corners. I was the back roads over there. Dude, I, I was, was barely trying. I know. And you were probably like All white knuckling. All I could think of was this. Hey, it's on the outside, right? I know, but I didn't want to like be pushing it too hard, like and well, then... it probably didn't feel great. No, dude, no. I'm going around the corner, literally like bouncing, <laughs> jumping in the seat, dude. Dude, I'm like one hand on the wheel. I'm like, dude, there's no way Will's having fun right now. I kept looking at my rear view. I was just waiting for you to end up in the woods, to be no, honest. No, dude, literally, like brakes aren't the greatest. Like, no, <laughs> it's all not great. It's a screen and metal death trap for sure. Yeah, but, no, it's dude, meant to go in a straight line. That's it. With a four link. Some new tires, some new headlights in this LSA supercharger, some new brakes. We'll probably get some, hopefully, rotors in the rear because that those drums are just not doing it for us. But this thing is going fucking 50 to 100 real quick because it's not yeah, a zero. In a straight line. Not. I, I would say it's going, because this is 70% there, it's going 70 to 100 real quick. Meaning percent-wise of coolness. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, so. no, this is not meant for toges. No, for sure not. I think the Saab would beat this. Bullshit, not with me. I bet you I can outdrive Matt in this. I mean, yeah, I also wasn't trying to like Die. rage the fucker. Yeah, it's yeah, no, like, I feel that for sure. But I definitely could have gone harder, but yeah. I don't know. I guess that would, dude, 
That'd be a good one. Challenge? I would. I think that's a fair challenge because it's like, dude, this thing is scary. Yeah. Like how it is now. Maybe, maybe I'll give you some new tires in the front. Oh yeah. Well, I, it's just unsafe to rage it with those tires. Let's be real here. But how was changing those? By the way, flipping them. Not too bad. No. Well, I and mean, it's a big tire. It's easy. Yeah, like a big sidewall. Cool. Yeah. Well, this is our home. We'll see her in a couple weeks with that four link. Thank you, Fab Bot. Appreciate you. Link in the description. Uh, so we're in the M2. There was some cool back roads. We'll show you what Will was trying to rage on. trying but like not if you really really wanted to go harder you could like I don't recommend going harder than that but like yeah like you're not for it no I'm for it oh that, yeah you are yeah, oh. yeah I'm for it but it's like I can definitely keep revving it out you know yeah all right so there's been this hot dog guy in our town for as long as I can remember like he's here every single day since I've been through since I've been in high school and that was like even before high school even before high school like since I can remember he's been at this fucking at corner. least seven years ago he, this motherfucker's here every single day Dude, what I'm 22 I just give it at least fucking 15 like how many people are buying dogs on the side of the road a lot and then we're me and Will are talking about he's like yeah I heard they're good and I'm like I mean in high school I used to come at least once a week and we're like Fuck it, let's give him the business. Yeah. Like he's a, like there's, even, look at this. You don't see too many of these, man. This is, this let's is what some I'm talking dogs, about. dogs, dude. Hell yes. Fucking nice, friendly guy. Well, okay. he's official, he has business hours. Yeah, well, scratch, <laughs> scratch that. He's not open until noon and it's 1146. God damn it, you couldn't service up a couple dude. dogs. Yeah, I mean, we really hyped this car coming. Oh, we really hyped this guy up and we can't even get the dog. Dude, he's got hours, I didn't know that. I kind of thought he was like the second he got there. He's got a, I wonder if like he has to pay rent here. You know, yeah, twelve to five. <laughs> Guess. Huh? Dang, dude, he just don't. He just turned down two customers because there was a car right in front of us. He business must be popping if he's turning yeah, down dude. cars, what dude. The fuck. Like what? Hey, man. Good for him. I yeah. like. I like that shit, dude. Yeah, you guys didn't know this, but back in my day. When I was 16, um, I used to have a window business. I used to wash windows in my Honda Civic. I, my, my grandpa has like a big business in Enfield. Shout out to you, Charlie. And uh, I used to like go there like on the weekends. I'd help him out and stuff. I was like, this is pretty easy. I'm just gonna start it myself. Got business cards and everything. I went around to all of these fucking. Um, businesses and I was just like hey I'll clean your windows we can go on a monthly um, basis we can go on a weekly basis and I was I was bringing in like good money and I wasn't working like a nine to five job or anything I was just like doing it like you know the donut station I would do them for just the outside for 75 bucks yeah not bad you know um the pizza place in Litchfield um all Hometown. the way at the end Hometown. nope not not that you know where Marcus used to work Ollie's, oh, yeah, Ollie's. you know all the way down that pizza joint I used to do them for 50 bucks and a large pizza. Take me one hour. I, honestly, I can't even tell you why I stopped. I think I actually. Subway. Yeah, I think I actually ended up hating it because washing windows suck. No, I, dude, you were like, I remember you were like, dude, because you, you were trying to hire me to come with me. Dude, I, 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 I hired fucking Brett. Brett washed a few. I was I was getting fucking employees the you're age like, of 16, fuck dude. This shit. It just sucked because like I had to carry around soapy water. Like the whole back of my seat was just all oh, this fucking dude, window this washing Civic equipment. Was a fucking detail machine. Yeah, it was for yeah. windows, not for cars. No, it was Rudnick's window service. I probably still have the business card somewhere. Actually, I just remembered. I never paid for those. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, no, because I made a deal with this guy that I would wash his windows for two months if he got me a thousand business cards. Never washed. And then I quit. Hey, not bad. Shit, I gotta figure out who he is. I gotta pay him for those. Back when I was 15, um, there was a shop called Brumel's, and I used to go in there. I loved bike parks. I would um, haggle with them for hours. Like I remember this exactly. I got demo revolt cranks, 175 millimeter cranks, 
and um, I ended up getting them for like a hundred bucks or something cheap. It was like 80 or a hundred bucks, brand new cranks. No one wanted them because they were 175 mil. They were just sitting on a shelf. And I would go there like once a week and I would just be like, yo, let me get this, let me get this. I'd ride my ass all the way to the Winston Skate Park and then I would fucking sell bike parts out of my bag. I remember it was either fucking Josh or Brett bought the Demo Revolt crank. Same day for 160 bucks. I made fucking a $70 flip at the age of 15 for fucking just riding 40 minutes and having fun at the skate park. Go when get your I was 15, I worked at Dan's. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gun Dan, dude. How was that? It was bad. Yeah. He, he, he paid you, too. Yeah. Yeah, so it's fine. Man, I'm in a great mood today. <laughs> it must be the fucking air, man. Yeah, it must Let be me the get air. some of this. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, something smells great. There's a Chinese food right there. Or 99. Maybe it's 99. All right, well, here we are at fucking Staples. Yeah, here we are. We need to get a stapler because uh, we got Grillo. a lot of fucking orders to do. And we gotta do, I wanna get them all done today because we gotta drive to West Virginia tomorrow. Mm hmm. Hell yeah, brother. All right, guys. Well, we just worked for like, I think it was like seven or eight hours or something. We got so many of you guys' orders out. We're not, to be honest with you, we're not even halfway done yet, but. Um, I really wanted to focus on the skateboards today because like the skateboards were like this like big special thing and to be honest This was three months in the making like it took us three months to get these skateboards So I was very excited and I just wanted to get it out to everyone um, We got a bunch of junk banners out a bunch of hats bunch of shirts I still have to go to the shop tonight We're going to West Virginia tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. And it's already 7 p.m. I still need to go to the shop and put my new radiator in the Z because yes We finally got a radiator. I ended up just getting the same one as Tommy fucking things like 500 bucks, but fuck it. Yeah, hopefully we don't overheat on the track anymore and we can just go from there. But dude, how crazy is this? Look at all these fucking boxes. Mental. You know how much money I spent in boxes? How much? A lot. A lot of money. Over, I think I spent over $600 in just fucking boxes. Stupid. You wanna play a quick game of Jenga? We should have set it up like that. You should have. Sure. You done started that. to. Whoever was doing that started to set it up like Jenga a little bit. Yeah, I just wanted to show this because this is cool. I don't know. Um, Will's little brother is going to be bringing him to the post office. And I don't know what he's going to do. It. He's going to have to do like 10 trips because we're not going to have the truck here. He's got to put it in an 04 Outback. Yeah, we did our job. Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, no, it's going to be a nightmare for sure. But if you guys want merch, go down in the description below. Um, We're going to pick it back up. If you didn't get the thing, don't worry. We're going to be back Thursday and we're going to start next weekend. So we just tried to bang out as much as we could today. I like to try to get the merch done as fast as we can. Sadly, we're just kind of out of time. And obviously, we're on drift week and stuff. So get your merch and Grillo's about to pull up with his new car. So let's see that. Grillo just pulled up, dude. I haven't seen this thing yet. We were going to make like a full video about it and stuff. And like him getting rid of his old car and stuff but we're so fucking far ahead and up our asses with content i don't even care right now so where are will i'm shot grillo how are you doing ho 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 what up doing? dude this is the whip yes it is it actually doesn't look that bad i thought I, you were getting a leaf oh and this isn't a leaf this no. is a sonic dude. wait what the fuck is this, this is a sonic this is a chevy cruise wait a minute i thought, I thought it was they a were leaf. me a leaf so about that i did get a leaf so let me explain the story so I got a leaf, uh, I checked the battery health, it was good, at least in the dash when it read. I drove the car, I got a solid 20 miles, and I had to recharge it. So at that <laughs> point in my life, I realized, well, damn, this sucks. I was all excited for the electric car. Ooh. It's more comfortable. So you traded the Beetle. You know, it's crazy because right now, they gave me literally what I paid for the Beetle just about in a trade-in. Yeah. The new BBW Transporter, baby. Dang. I, I think I named her Sydney. Sydney. Oh, Sydney okay. Cruz. Sydney, Sydney yeah, Cruz. Give... <laughs> I've been excited. Is that a porn star? I don't know, but it sounds like a porn star name, so that's why we're going with Is she fast or? God, no. Well, guys, there you have it. The Chevy Cruz. But it's comfortable. Um, like I said, fully loaded. You put eyelashes on this bitch? You know, I got I kept the eyelashes in my room. They're oh like my a God. safe keep. I was about to say you finally grew but, up, but But the didn't. real reason why I got rid of the Beetle is, yeah, so for one, your oil shit didn't fix the gas miles. I was still getting five miles to a fix gallon. Fixed the oil, though. You did. The oil pressure. It most certainly did. Yeah. But it did not fix the gas mileage. I did some more research. It's most likely a computer module that's causing the issue. 
Those cost. Yeah, so just get rid of it. Thousands, yeah. yeah. Just get rid of it. At that point, also, the tires, which normally I don't care about tires. It's a basic car. However, though, you know, every car needs tires. This is a normal car tire. So I'll pay like 300, 400. Yeah, those the were Beetle, run flats. Yeah, they run over a thousand right now. Yeah. And the yeah. problem is they're not even like Pirelli's or something like Michelin or some nice. Dude, on my car it's four hundred a tire. Yeah, so it's like I it's like paying for Ling Long time. Like no, Dude, I'm not paying no more for the Ling Long. You know where you should have gone? Huh. Tire streets. Tire streets. You should have got your fucking tires at tire streets. Miata fifteen, use the code, but we're not gonna drag this on it anymore. Chevy Cruz, Grillo got a new car. Finally, he's not I can't say that word because it's twenty twenty two. Finally, I like he's the not flamboyant anymore. The Beetle was sick. <laughs> He had eyelashes. The I mean, eyelashes ruined You drive a sob, so New of course Beetle, you think it's sick. All right, we're nice. cutting the clip. I don't Good job, it. Grillo. Congratulations. You. That's awesome. I'm kind of pissed he didn't bring the leaf because I wanted to drive it, but... It was a hoopty. Fuck the cruise. Just kidding. <laughs> it was a hoopty. <sighs> Hi. So it's uh, 9.20 at night. I got up at 7. We've been running around, doing merch, doing all this stuff today. Dropped the Colorado off. We did so much today. Awesome. But... We got this giant CSF radiator that um, we need to put in because I'm sick of overheating after every two laps. So I sucked it up, spent the five hundo, and um, here we are. So let's just make this thing. Probably should have grabbed the razor blade. I'm trying to put this in in 20 minutes and get the hell out of here because we got to wake up at 6 a.m. to drive all the way to West Virginia in the Z. So uh, we're just gonna put this in. We're not gonna film it, but hey, we got a radiator. How you doing? Dude, I don't wanna die. You gotta take the whole front end off to do the radiator. The condenser is part of the radiator. I don't have the tools to get the, ra the AC lines off, dude. That's how I feel right now, for real. Look at all these fucking bolts to get this fucking radiator off. Look at all this shit. It's fucking insane. It's been 40 minutes. Really? I'm ready to just die. Right, let's keep working. Well, it is um, 12.08 in the morning. We finished. You did it. Good job. Uh, I did it. It wasn't fun. No, it doesn't look like when it. When I figured out what I had to do, I almost went home, but I was just like, oh, I have to do it tomorrow anyways. And like, I already was like half apart, because I was like, you know what, I'll just have Will do it. And I was just like, Will's not going to know what the fuck to do now. I took it all apart. Yeah. So then I was kind of stuck with it, but we powered through. Yeah, you did it, man. I guess I'm happy about it. I'll be happy if we can go drifting and it doesn't overheat. Yeah. Then it'll be a job well done. If not, this was for nothing. All right, guys, so we're going to end the video right here. The Z made it all the way to Summit Point, and um, you're going to have to find out next video. The Z is um, chilling at Summit Point right now, but stay tuned for the next video. It's a banger. A uh, couple things happened with Adam. A couple things happened with Luke. A lot of fun stuff went on in the next video, so definitely stay tuned. I'm loving Drift Week. Shout out to Aaron Losey's Instagrams right here. Shout out to Luke for helping me drive. Shout out to Adam. Shout out to everyone. It's been a blast. How you been having fun? Oh yeah, dude. It's, it's been, been a blast. It's been sick. We're gonna have to do these. I know. Cause like my driving has just got so much better and like so much more relaxed throughout like the past couple days, honestly. I was gonna say past couple weeks, but it's only been a couple days and it's crazy. It's crazy to think that it's only been a week and a half. Like we've done so much. Really it's, it's fucking wild. But thank you guys for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. It, it's, it's crazy. See ya.